Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this video, we're just going to do a little test on the Zolio two-way satellite communicator that I've got on the right here and the Garmin InReach Messenger that I've got on the left, just to see as a guide how long it takes for a satellite message. We're going to use the simple check-in message on the devices to be received by a phone. So this is, you could be in the hills, you've got no mobile signal and you need to let friends and family know you're okay and you're using the check-in message functions of both devices and it's been sent by the Iridium satellite network and then the person at the other end, which is the phone I'm using here, so this phone isn't actually paired with the devices, this would be the person at the other end who's got mobile data who's receiving your message. We're just going to see roughly how long using the stopwatch the messages take to come through. We're down by the river in Rothbury in Northumberland, so we have got quite an open, clear view of the sky. It's just a cold, damp, misty day. So we've got both units. We're going to test them independently, but at the same um, in the same um, 10 minutes sort of time scale. What we have found and been advised by the manufacturers, if you've got two devices um, that use the two-way satellite communication, Iridium satellites, with sort of 10 feet of each other, and you're pressing the buttons at the same time, it can interfere with the signal. That's why we're going to do them separately, but all in the same environment within the same 10 minutes. We'll do three or four tests. So I'm going to do the Zolio one first. So if I just take the Zolio device, doing it standalone, we've got a simple tick on the top of the device that we press and just hold it in for a second and let go and then we'll see the green LED light spinning as it's transmitting that message and we'll set the stopwatch going to see how long that takes to come through on the phone. So the phone's receiving it by mobile data but we're sending the message via the Iridium satellite network. So if I just get the stopwatch ready and I'm going to press the button, start the stopwatch and then we'll just put the device down and what I will see on the actual phone, I'll hold it up, we will get an alert come through to show that the message has been received. You may not see it in this light, but we've actually got the green LEDs are spinning round on the Zolio. That's shown that the message has been transmitted. We will actually get a little tone noise as well once that message has been sent, and then we'll see what happens on the phone. So we're just sitting at the 28 second mark at the minute. These messages with satellites can take, and um, we have seen them take up to sort of four minutes. I know the manufacturers do talk about timescales of potentially 30 minutes, but in reality, we've normally found them a lot quicker. It can depend on environmental situations as well, whether you're in deep tree coverage. And there we go, that's came through at 40, well it was about 47 seconds, I was too busy talking there. So the actual message there on the phone is just Zolio Demo, I'm OK. Now on these messages we've actually set them to show your location as well, so the person receiving the message will be able to check your current location via their phone as well to where that message was sent from. So that was pretty impressive, it was about 47 seconds, it was just my delay in getting to the stopwatch. So what we're going to do now is stop the video and we'll do the same process with the inReach messenger and then just for continuity we'll do a couple of more tests so we've done sort of three tests in a row. And now that we've done our Zolio test we're now going to do the test with the inReach messenger device. So on the inReach messenger device here there's an OK button at the bottom of the underneath the screen. Press that once it has my first simple check-in message that I've already preset to send to the phone that I've got here. So it's just a simple message saying, I'm checking in, everything is OK. So I'm going to press OK, it's ready to send. Same as what we did with the Zolio, I'll get the stopwatch ready just so we can start it at the same time. So I'll send it, start the stopwatch, and then we'll just wait for that message to come through on the phone. So again, like the Zolio, I haven't got the messenger paired with the phone with Bluetooth or anything. It's purely using the actual um, satellite to send the message. So we're just going to see how long that takes to be sent and received by the phone. So I've just heard a little tone alert from the messenger. So that'll be the actual message being sent. And that one's come through there at 25 seconds. I'm checking in. Everything's OK. So I'm just going to make a note of that one. 25 seconds and then we'll continue the test and do a second one with the Zolio and a second one with the messenger. So now having done a test with both units, the Zolio and the messenger, both coming in under a minute, we're now going to do a second test with the Zolio. 
So if I take the Zolio unit, just do exactly as we did before, we've got the tick box on the top. So as I press the tick box, I'll start the stopwatch. So tick box done, stopwatch started. And then again, we'll just check on the phone for that alert coming through. And we'll just see what we get on the second test. I've got the inReach turned off just so we don't get any interference with the two units being close together. We always say keep them at least 10 foot apart if you've got a couple of devices that are busy transmitting messages using the Iridium satellite system. So we'll just let the time clock go up and again not paired with Bluetooth or anything so we're purely using satellites. So we had 47 seconds on the first message and the messenger was 25 seconds. So we're just getting close now. We're on a 40 seconds here. I can still see the green LEDs flashing round on the Zolio to show the message has been transmitted. And we normally hear a little tone noise to show that it's being sent. Just remember we potentially can look up to an average of four minutes and I know the manufacturers of both units do quote times of potentially 30 minutes even though generally we find them a lot quicker than that. And it can depend on environmental conditions, whether you've got tree coverage, um, cliffs to the side of you, etc. So I've just heard that beep to say it's been transmitted. So it shouldn't take too much longer to come through on the phone. So that one's just come through there. It was a minute and 17 seconds. And we've got the Zolio demo. I'll just scroll down on the screen there. So it's the very top message is Zolio demo GPS training. The in which one was the message from before. So that was a minute and 17 seconds. So we'll do exactly the same on the Garmin just to give us a bit of continuity, just to see how these messages are coming through on both units. So we're ready now to do our second test, this time on the Garmin Messenger. Same as before, I'm gonna use the OK button on the bottom, get to my first shortcut message, check-in message, I'm checking in, everything's OK, it's ready to send and then we'll get the stopwatch just to start it at the same time. So pressing the send, starting the stopwatch, and then we'll just see how long it takes for the second one on the messenger. So the first one on the messenger was actually just 25 seconds. So we'll just see what time we get on this second one. So I've just heard a little beep to say that message has been sent. And we'll just see how long that takes to come through on the actual phone. So that one's come through at 19 seconds there. And that's the in reach I'm checking in. Everything's okay. So again, that's the last message you can just see on the top there. So I'm just going to stop the stopwatch again, and then we'll start the video to do another test on the Zolio. So we're gonna do three or four tests on both devices. So here we go with our third test, this time starting with the Zolio. So Zolio turned on, got the stopwatch ready. So we're just gonna press the tick, start the stopwatch, and then we'll just see what the Zolio comes in on this third test. Impressively, both units have been well with under the four minutes that we often quote average, average time for a satellite message. We know this can depend a lot on environmental conditions. So I can see I've got the actual, the green light, I don't know how easy it is to see on the camera, but basically in each corner there's a green light flashing in a circle as it's transmitting the message. And then we hear a tone alert once that message has been transmitted. So we'll just let the stopwatch go and as soon as we hear the beep to say it's been transmitted we'll keep an eye out for the alert coming through on the actual phone itself. So we're just sitting at the 47 second mark there and the message has now been transmitted. I've just heard that beep which you may have heard on the video and it's came through there at 52 seconds. So 52 seconds, Zolio demo, I'll just swipe down again so you can see there. So it's this one here, the Zolio demo message at the top. And if I was looking at that message, the person at the other end, they would actually be able to see your location because we've included that as part of the message and tap on it to see where the message was sent from. So that was an impressive time again there, 52 seconds. So what we'll do is we'll do a third test again for continuity on the Garmin Messenger. We'll just reset the clocks and get going again. So we're now going to do a third test on the messenger this time. So we've already done our third test on the Zolio. So the Garmin inReach messenger, same as before, I'm going to use the OK button at the bottom just to get me into my first check-in message, ready to send it, and then get ready with the send and the stopwatch. 
and that message has now been sent and we'll see what we get the third time round on the Garmin Inreach Messenger to see how quick that comes through using the satellites. So far both units we've had the messages come through in under two minutes so we'll just see what we get. I've just heard a beep to say that message has been sent and we'll just leave the stopwatch going I'll keep an eye out on the phone that was the alert through there at 25 seconds I can see GPS training in reach messenger I'm checking in everything is okay and again this one has the location linked to it the same as the Zolio one if the person receiving it touches on that message they can see where it was sent from so that was an impressive 25 seconds we'll do one more test just so we've done four tests on the units just as a final test and then we'll come back onto the video so we're now doing our fourth test and we're going to do the Zolio first this time same, or should I say the same as before, we've done the Zolio each time first. So with the Zolio, it's just a simple tick box, I press and let go. So press and let go on the tick box, start the stopwatch. We've got the LEDs, so the green LEDs flashing around in a circle, just to show that the message has been transmitted. I should have said with the Garmin one, on the inReach Messenger on the little screen, you actually see two white arrows appear on the bottom of the screen. I'll show you on the next uh, last one we do on the Messenger, which shows that a message has been transmitted. But on the Zolio, you've got those nice clear green LEDs spinning round. And then with both units, you do hear a tone alert to say that the message has now been sent. So again, it's using the Iridium satellite signal to send these satellite systems. So that's just beeped there at about the 34 second mark. And we'll just check how long that takes now to come through on the phone again purely using satellites so that was 42 seconds there so we've got the Zolio one sorry just knocked the camera there I'll just swipe down from the top so the Zolio one is the last message there so that is the Zolio one that's came through so again we'll do another test just the fourth one on the Garmin messenger just for continuity so it's our fourth and final test, we're going to do the Garmin InReach Messenger and then we'll put all the figures at the end of the video and I'll do a little conclusion as well. So we're just going to do the OKs again on the bottom of the unit, stopwatch started and actually what I'll show you now if I actually come back out of here. We've got two white arrows and if you can see that that's the message actually being transmitted and I've just heard a beep there from the unit at about 13 seconds. So we'll just keep an eye out on that message coming through. So that was 17 seconds there. And we've got the Garmin um, InReach Messenger, GPST, InReach checking that everything's okay on the phone. So very impressive, 17 seconds. So I'm just going to make a note of that. So based on all of the tests we've done, all of the units have come in well within the two minutes. What you'll find, um, certainly with the Zolio, the manufacturer said don't keep pressing the button um, continuously, otherwise it will just jam up the messages. They normally say give a good 90 seconds to two minutes between the messages. I'm pretty sure the messenger is very similar. What we've done as well is just left that little gap between sending the messages and making sure that whichever unit we weren't using was turned off while we were using the other one. Because I know the manufacturers do state if they're sort of within 10 foot of each other and they're both transmitting at the same time, messages still will go through but it can potentially interfere but I think both of the units have showed impressive figures now when we've been out in the field testing them it's interesting on some occasions we found the Zolio has sent the messages 20-30 seconds quicker than the Garmin and then as we found today it's the other way around it's one of those things if you you know did 20-30 tests you may then find one comes out um, one time on top over the other one. It can just depend on how that message has been transmitted. But I think the conclusion is none of the units have had a problem sending a message via satellite. None of them have had big delays. They've all been under two minutes, which is well within the manufacturer's sort of um, scope that they quote for satellite messages going through. So I hope you found this short test just a, li a little sort of guide and just to give you an idea how long messages do take to be sent via satellites because we're all so used to sending messages via mobile data. The beauty of both these devices, if I did actually have the phone paired with the device, say this was my phone and it's not the one receiving the messages, if you pair it with either the InReach Messenger app or the Zolio app, which, whichever device you're using, when you send messages, if you have got mobile data, it does send the messages via mobile data, which potentially 
can be quicker but as you've found those satellite messages went through really quick so hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching